Hi there, I'm Jacqueline Favero, and today we're going to be talking about one of these small production, hard to find wines that Vero specializes in, and that is the Ojai Pacific View Dolcetto. And this is a wine that is very near and dear to my heart because this is my family's wine. Ojai Pacific View was born as the brainchild and passion project of my mother, Patty Mitchell. We originally started out by planting 200 vines on our family ranch that we built up from nothing. As the name suggests, we are located in Ojai, specifically the Upper Ojai Valley on Sulphur Mountain Road, overlooking into the Pacific Ocean. This all got started when looking for something fun to do with the ranch and all of the land, my mom had soils testing done and discovered that the soil was really good for growing grapes. So that began the quest of my mother and I trying to decide what did we want to plant. So how did this wine come to be? It's got kind of a crazy story because Dolcetto, is not a typical grape variety that you find in California. At the time, we were traveling a lot over here to Northern Italy and Piedmont specifically, where I actually now have worked for 10 years. And as we were traveling around, we kept tasting big Nebbiolos, Barolos, Barbarescos, these fabulous wines. But when we'd go to the restaurants for lunch, for dinner, they would always pull out a bottle of Dolce and it was always such a fresh and fruity and food-friendly wine that was easy to drink and enjoy, my mom and I just fell in love with it. So one of our last dinners in Piedmont, we were at Trattoria Risorgimento, a restaurant where actually I've worked for the last 10 years. And as we were finishing up our meal, my mom was talking to the nonno Ilario, or the grandfather of the family, about how she was thinking of planting some dolcetto. He just kind of looked at her and said, Dolcetto in California? Leave the Dolcetto to us. Go sit on the beach. Well, you may not know my mother like I do, but that was all she needed to say, I am going to show him that I can make a good Dolcetto. So with the variety decided, we came back to California onto our ranch and decided it was time to start planting. Fast forward a few years, there was a lot of strife, losing fruit to birds, to bees, to foxes, to deer, but we finally managed to get a full harvest. And that was in the year of 2017, our inaugural vintage. This vintage was so special to us because it was like the culmination of years of hard work of digging trenches and placing irrigation lines and pruning and plucking and all of that stuff that we all did, my family, for these vines. But as you may expect, the wine was totally different than a normal Piedmonte Dolcetto. It is a lot more deeper fruit flavors than what you're going to find in an Italian dolcetto. These differences are a lot because of the unique position of the land where we planted the grapes. It's got an ocean influence coming up at a thousand meters of elevation or almost 3,000 feet. The rocky shale limestone soil we actually planted in our old horse pasture, so it was very fertile soil. And of course, the weather too is much different in Southern California than it is in Northern Italy. So as the years passed, we did a little bit more experimentation, working on our winemaking techniques and really honing what flavors we liked. 2018 came out a little funny because it was such a hot year and we ended up missing harvest by a day. So this wine is actually a lot like a late harvest. It's super powerful in flavor and a really high alcohol. Things got really interesting and fun for us with the 2019 Vintage, where we won our first gold medal with the Sommelier Choice Awards. And last but not least, our most recent release was the 2020 Dolcetto Harvest. And in this 2020 Vintage, we have won another gold medal with the Sommelier Choice Awards, as well as a double gold medal from the International Women's Wine Competition. What we really love about this wine is how you can taste the land through it. 
you can taste that difference between Piedmont and California. The land has a very minerally shale limestone soil, and that comes out with a nice minerality and saline finish to the wine. But the typical dolcetto fruits are still there, but just turned up to 10. We've got lots of plums, wild berries, but we've also got some nice herbaceous notes, a little bit of flint in there. And because there is wood aging and it is aged in neutral oak barrels, you get a little bit of a vanilla hint as well. That is fabulous. My mom, Patty, is so proud of this wine and the recent medals it's won. And I really, I gotta say, she has every reason to be because this is a great wine. I sure love it. My friends in Italy that I've ta had tasted it have also loved it. It's the culmination of so much hard work and effort and passion that you can, you can just taste the love in the bottle for me. So thank you for joining me today and letting me introduce you to my mom's and my wine, the Ojai Pacific View Dolcetto. You can find this wine on verovino.com where there's also available a three wine flight set to taste multiple vintages of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please leave a like below. It would mean so much to my mom and to myself. Thank you and I'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.